Hey Rock Creators, this is Slugger. As you can tell by what you're seeing here, I've decided to pivot into becoming an unboxing channel. <laughs> Uh, in reality, I've received a number of sealed LEGO sets in the mail recently, and this is just going to be a unique opportunity to take a look at all the things that have kind of come uh, my way here. Uh, completely unscripted, and we're just going to go through and take a look at them. If this isn't your thing, don't watch it. It's all good. It's all good. Um, also, I want to point out that this could potentially be spoilers for what other videos are going to be coming in the coming months here. So if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, you'll probably want to click away as well too. Um, first off, let's see what we got kicking around in here. So we're going to start with some small sets to begin with. Now these ones don't really count as sealed because, uh, as you can see here, they have actually been opened already. So these are the LEGO Dinosaur sets, and all four of the small ones are right here. Now the reason why I wanted to pick these ones up is because they go along with the collection of larger ones that I have and I was, I mean I just opened these about 15 minutes ago, I was really excited to see alternate combiner models all along the back and you know by the time I get to building or making this video we're going to be looking at all of these combiner models as well. Like some, some of these are just, they're just ridiculous here. This is Biker Bob. And this is from LEGO Creator, of all things. Now, Biker Bob has a unique head and torso print, which I'm completely fascinated by. And they never reused either of those prints, which, I don't know. I think that's crazy. <laughs> and he came in his own little, little boxed set here. So here we have some Lego racers, and this is one of the Zalax racers, and this this guy here, Sub-Zero, is actually the last of the 15 that I needed, <laughs> apparently, or I guess 16, because I don't know if Sub-Zero's on the back here, um, with uh, the rest of them, the, the rest of these 15 here were all ones I picked up locally um, for, for very cheap, um, and one of them, this one down here, apparently is worth quite a bit of money, <laughs> which is kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, so this this uh, will be an interesting video series. Now, Sub-Zero is the only one that doesn't come with the, with the slammer that they, they used to use to, um, to move around, uh, so I don't know what the story is behind this guy, and uh, it must be some sort of promotional item. His uh, set number is very different from the rest of the ones in the series, so that's interesting as well. Here's the next one, and it's one that I think a lot of people have been waiting for as well, uh, myself included. This is the last uh, Alpha Team box that I needed. Um, so I went through, and of course you saw it in Slugger, uh, Dar or the Tragedy of Darth Slugger Part 2, um, and I went through and took a look at the other boxes that I didn't have, and this was the only one that had the alternate build on the bottom that I still needed. So. Um, Radia's set didn't have that, neither did Ogle's uh, Command Striker as well. So this is the last one I needed. Next up on the list here, this is definitely an odd one. <laughs> as you can see, well there is a set in here and it's all cellophane over, but we have a base plate, a raised base plate that comes with it here. Now this is an interesting raised base plate because there's no studs on it, so it's a studless base plate, and this is exclusive to this package right here. So it's the Rocky Ridge Playscape, apparently, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. So the set just kind of rests in there. There is a really cool back to all this as well too, and of course I, I will uh, I'll get some better pictures of all this um, so that you're not just having to look at my hands holding this <laughs> up, but uh, yeah. Well, here's one that I've prepared for us earlier. <laughs> so, why have one when you can have two? Uh, anyways, this, this is a, uh, uh, a different uh, version I picked up. And as you can see, yeah, there's, there's no, no studs anywhere on it. It is made of dark orange plastic, which I think is really cool to see it that early in LEGO's life uh, lifespan there. And the other thing to keep in mind too is that there are these spots, there's certain spots where there's, you can see like a little square element there. And those are actually points where you can take bricks and they, they'll actually rest right in those spots. So you, you feasibly could build something 
on the uh, on the playscape here. There's a couple more spots here. There's one here, one here. I think that's it. Yeah, so pretty neat. Here's another set worth looking at. This is a designer set, um, kind of like Lego Creator, that sort of uh, idea. Uh, and this is for building robots, the Robobots. <laughs> so it's cool to pick this one up. It is one of a few Robo sets I want to get from this era. So it's the first one. Um, there's a couple others, one that's pretty expensive. Uh, but I want to pick them up for a robot themed episode that I have planned in the works here. Maybe a couple actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, so this one's kind of interesting. This is a really unique set as well. Mars Mission Master Builders. <laughs> um, so you might recognize the name Mars Mission if you have familiarity with uh, some Lego series. So before there was this, there was this. <laughs> so this is the original Mars Mission. So what, what are we looking at inside here? Well, it, it's got a really neat system here. The idea is that it, it's a book with a series of pieces and you use the, the, the guides in the book and the pieces included to build all these different models. So what's interesting here is it's got a nice magnetic seal along the side here and it opens up like so. And we have the parts all sealed along the side here. I haven't messed with those yet. And then you have the book. And it looks like the book's going to be like massive, but it's actually very thin. <laughs> and the rest is just cardboard backing. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, but it is what it is. I know this won't be a good uh, look at what's going on inside here, but it's all 3D rendered models, which I thought was kind of interesting to see. It's not my favorite aesthetic that LEGO's ever done but it shows you basically step-by-step -step instructions, build this, build that, and uh, gives you the part count and the, the difficulty level of these. What I found that I thought was really interesting, oh, hey, nice, original price tag, uh, it's $17, $17.29 there, which is a weird spot to put the price tag. Why is it in the back of the, hmm. Anyways, um, <laughs> the one thing I found that was really interesting was the uh, building certificate here in the back of, of the book, and it, has all the names of the models. You're supposed to put the date you built them and the time you spent building them. So I thought that was really interesting. I'll probably do a scan of this and then um, as I do the, the video for this I, I will record the day I built them and how much time I spent on them and whatnot. And uh, when you get them all finished you're officially a Lego master builder which is pretty cool. So a neat official way to become a master builder. <laughs> So this is one of the last two that I have to show off here today, and this is Model Team, as you can see. Now, of course, Model Team was uh, featured in the 1012 subscriber special, so if you want to uh, check out any of the other uh, sets that I have in my collection, you can see them in that video. But I don't think we're at the end of Model Team content. Um, so th this set right here was the last Model Team set, if I recall correctly, 1999, and right after this, they retired the whole whole theme um, so it had a good good run there of course from I think 84 was the first year um, we saw any model team sets anyways um, yeah so th this one is Red Fury it is a dragster race car but then it's also this weird uh, tractor thing <laughs> looks like a stunt tractor it's got like the back end on it here um, yeah so th this is kind of in an interesting one to get uh, only 390 pieces so it is a lot smaller than the um, Whirl and Wheel Super Truck was, but at the same time, it does have some interesting elements. These giant tires are one thing that caught my eye. Uh, it also, of course, has the flip-up lid here so that we can see the parts in there, and yeah, you can see these these, these wheels are big. Um, I don't know, what, what do I have for size comparison? We've got Jet. We'll put Jet here. <laughs> so you can see, these, these tires are absolutely massive. Also have a little bit of artwork here along the top flap. I'll put some put some pictures up as well too, so you can see this. I don't know when this this one will be featured in a video, but um, this one as well as the next set I'm going to show you will probably be in the same video. So let's look at the last one now. All right, so this is the last one here, and it's not Model Team, but it's uh, pretty close, honestly. This is Lego Creator, and this one is the Highway Pickup set. Now, th this one I had to adjust the camera and everything. This is a massive box, like very, very large. Uh, let let's grab Jet again here, just as size comparison. 
there. Right. Yeah, so you can see that this this thing's uh, quite up there. It's tough to get enough light on it even to, to project it all that well, but I'll see if I can get some better pictures here. Now, the reason why I wanted to pick this one up was A, because it's cheap, honestly, uh, compared to like what you're getting here, 805 pieces. And if you look up the Bricklink prices, pretty affordable to be honest. Um, so I was really surprised by that and uh, definitely wanted to grab one. Now there's another thing too is th this reminds me so much of Model Team just looking at it. I, I know this one came out years and years later but you have some similar elements like these these parts here, these lights along the side, those were included in the Whirl and Wheel uh, Super Truck C model, I remember seeing those there, as well as I think on the trailer of that one too. The, the striping that goes along the cab here, that's, that's really reminiscent of some of that stuff that happens in Model Team as well too. So yeah, I kind of see this one as a bit of a successor. It's also a 3-in-1 model, so it gives you instructions for building this car here as well as this tow vehicle as well. So I was really interested in that. Let me flip, flip this around so you can see a little bit of the back side here. It's really tough to show everything off with this box, but hopefully you can see a bit of it there. It includes some light bricks as well, uh, which is interesting. So that must be for lighting up either the uh, headlights here or the emergency lights up there. Looks like it also does the uh, rear lights in, in the car as well too. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so this is a massive, massive box and it'll probably be in some sort of mm, model team's legacy um, episode or something like that. Um, there's another one I have my eye on as well too, which I might pick up in addition to this. Um, but it is really cool to see Model Team and Creator 3-in-1 kind of merge together here in, in these models. So I think that'll about wrap things up here for today. Um, hopefully the storm outside hasn't been too noisy on the microphone, though I'm, I'm assuming you've probably heard it by now. Um, there are some new videos coming out here in the future. I've got a, about, a, about a 10 minute long update video coming out. It should be ready by the weekend, I would assume. Um, outside of that, I do have a very special episode coming out for the following week, and then I have also finished the script for the next um, uh, Time Cruisers episode as well too, which is going to be a long one. And I, I guess I mean I've finished recording the script, so currently three videos in production right now, which is great. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, leave any comments in the description for ideas that you might have for episodes using these sets, because um, I'm always looking for new ideas in that department as well, too. And I will see you next time in the next video. Bye for now.